So this heat of the Prince Elizabeth Challenge Cup between St George's College and Weybridge and Radley College. And we see both crews getting away to good starts very sharply as the umpire drops the flag and sets them away. Yeah, quite different styles of starting there actually when you look at the two crews. When you compare St George's uh, College Weybridge, they were kind of a lot of aggression, a lot of energy being thrown around into that start, whereas Radley just took a little bit more time. And so it'll be interesting when we get the shot from the sides to see which was more effective. Well, I think we can see which one's been more effective. It's Radley on the near side. They almost looked a bit upright, I thought, going off the start, but um, now they've got into their length and uh, they'll be pleased to be trying to press the puddles away and, and press this distance and at this key time really as the crews are going to settle into their pace to see if they can try to push some clear water between them and the crew on the inside from St George's College in Weybridge and these crews of course are schoolboys um, all under 18 or 18 and under yeah it's always impressive if you can look like you do if, if you can look like you're being lazy but then still moving out quickly off the blocks so if you look like you're doing nothing and that's a that's pretty good so as we see here the radley crew we've moved further down the course um six in the radley boat uh we see uh max senior we saw his father tim rowing in the london a crew earlier so um I'm sure uh, they'll both be pleased with uh, with being out here racing on the Henley course and I think Max and this Radley crew will be particularly pleased with how well they're performing in control now as they're coming down to about the mile post. That's a pretty good family day out isn't it? Father and son both rowing in the same regatta. Yeah and we can see a picture of them now and just see see how tidy and efficient really this Radley crew is on the left. And you can see them in uh, that conventional rig with the blue and white blades and just going down and uh, just able to get plenty of distance per stroke. Blade work really nicely in synchronisation together. Nothing pushing the boat back when the rowers come sliding back down. It's quite easy to make the stern of the boat dig a bit or to kick the boat back as they apply the force. And we see uh, overhead picture now of the uh, St George's Weybridge crew and uh, the gap which has opened up between them. And from that aerial shot, you could see, with both crews in the same shot at one point, you could see the difference between the lengths that both crews were rowing. However, I mean, the the, uh, the Radley College has kept up their, their stroke rate, so they have, you know, they're going to have a slightly shorter, shorter um, stroke, but very, very smooth. And we know the Radley crew have got plenty of form. They're the silver medalist and championship eights at National Schools Regatta behind a quite outstanding school from crew from St Paul's School and we will also be seen throughout the regatta and Radley will want to save all the energy they've got or if they get the opportunity to come up against that St Paul's crew later on in the regatta. So we see Radley now coming down in front of the floating grandstand and crossing the finish line great first race, just what you want to settle, uh, settle into Henley Royal Regatta across the line ahead of the crew from St George's College who fought the whole way down the crew but we see confirmation of that result, the win in the Prince Elizabeth Cup for Redley College against St George's College in Weybridge.